waiting to be filled in. Instead, Davina is laughing at me from the carpet with that glorious head of hair thrown back in victory. I've won, she seems to be saying. I'm the one that Ed loves. Why else would he paint me? I mean, almost as shiny as Larry's car. There was a bell, just as she had requested. Carla did. At first, she heard nothing either. But just as she was about to put the phone down, she began to cry, thinking of... I don't want to go to Lily and Ed's. I am ill. Hidden, and was now coming out to upset her. Murder. Murder. That was the evil word she had seen on Lily's papers. The more she thought of it... Who's another side of you? Said Ed encouragingly. Judges get fed up with chocolate box paintings. Portrait. She tried to sit up straight, like a proper English lady. The portrait. Larry cannot be with us at Christmas. She sniffed. Carla's heart jumped. Why not? Mama sniffed. Because he has to be with his wife. Then the woman in front of them on the bus turned around and gave them both such a nasty look. Well, hey guys, it's Friday afternoon. I just got home from work and I'm about to head to the gym. Um, here, I'm gonna squat down here and put my shoes on. These are the running shoes that I, um, I love. I wear them in the gym exclusively and then I have a separate pair that I run outdoors with and I never bring physically into the house um, so as to cut down on the amount of little friends who may enter and what have you. Um, Hope you guys had a good day today. I sure did. Um, busy clinic day, and I just fired up that aromatherapy candle that I got um, on iHerb, the um, lavender citrus one. It's nice um, in the kitchen, especially. I have, this is the first time I've lit, I've, I've put it on, and it's good for kind of masking uh, the cooking kitchen kitchen smells. Um, and that candle is, is nice, but um, yeah. Oh, update on the Audible front. I totally loved Wallace Stegner's um, All the Little uh, Wild Things. It is so, it was so amazing. It was like, I mean, Wallace Stegner, I mean, you just can't go wrong there. But I'm listening to Jane Corey's My Husband's Wife, and it is really good. I mean, it's it's no Stegner, don't get me wrong. I think part of what makes it so good though is the is the individual reading the doing the, the reading has such a soothing, nice voice that it, it makes it more audible. <laughs> makes it more listen listen worthy. Um, but yeah, I know I said that I was going to uh, to uh, cancel my, my Audible subscription, and I'm, I'm thinking about it, but I still have a few credits lingering, so I enjoy it, but I need to fire into uh, the library. I need to get the, I need to get the app uh, from the library that's totally free. But I was just uh, putting together a dinner with some things from Vitacost, and I also have a Vitacost uh, delivery that came today with some uh, just kind of things that I ordered. Um, you know, if you get $25 worth of Vitacost brand things, it's like free shipping. And so I got some stuff uh, that I was running out of, and I just want to talk about uh, like two things from Vitacost that I have really been enjoying and am using in my dinner recipe tonight. Um, and so I'll show you them here. This is this coconut powder um, by Native Forest. I am totally in love with this stuff, guys. Um, it looks like disgusting, right? Like, ew, gross. What is that? Is that like some kind of processed thing? And I mean, I guess technically it is processed, but all it is is... Um, is uh, coconut milk powder. And um, here I'll show you what it looks like. I keep it in the fridge, but it kind of looks like, like chunks of coconut uh, milk. And you can just reconstitute this in water. And OMG, it is so good with lime juice, water, and a few drops of the sweet berry, of the berry, um, here I'll show you. 
You can add either the berry, fla bear berry flavor sweet leaf drops that I love so much, or um, I also enjoy, these are a staple one, the vanilla cream. Um, so I'm really loving these flavors um, for my waters. And then I have the English toffee one that I like in my oatmeal, and I'm almost finished with that. So I'm still really loving the sweet leaf drops. But I just fired up a berry lime water here. It's just um, like half a squeezed, half a lime squeezed into this container of ice water with just five drops of the berry flavor. I would say of all the flavors I've tried, this is my least favorite, the berry one, because it, it doesn't taste like actual berry. It tastes like the, the berry kicks flavor, or like Fruit Loops, you know, which is fine. That's kind of a fun flavor, but. Um, it's not quite the au natural taste that I was going for, but loving that, loving this coconut milk powder. And I put it in my crock pot broths to make things into like coconut curries. So basically like a tablespoon of this uh, in eight ounces of water. Uh, you can, um, eight ounces of water turns it into coconut milk water. It's really good in um, hot cacao. It's really good in the winter time in hot chocolate instead of milk. So I really love this stuff. And another thing that I've been enjoying and used in my recipe today is the Main Coast Sea Vegetables Kelp. Um, I showed this in a previous haul, but basically I'll just show you guys, I've been using it. Um, you get quite a bit in this container, and this is what, I mean, it doesn't look like anything anybody would like actually wanna eat, but what I do is I just snip off a little piece and float it in the water and it just like, salts the water in my broth as it's cooking down. So, so good, so I love that. And I got some new stuff from Vitacost. I'm gonna try out their um, Stevia, because you guys know I like um, Stevia as my sweetener. Comment below, I've seen Stevia plants at like Walmart, and I'm wondering if like the leaves of those plants you can consume, because uh, I bet just leaves like in water would be good. You know how you put mint, fresh mint in lime water? I wonder if fresh Stevia leaves, are they sweet? I have no idea. Should I invest in one of these? I feel like that is a relationship that uh, I need to form. Um, but speaking of sweet stuff and sweet leaves um, and the sweet leaf drops, I went ahead and got um, another favorite flavor of mine is coconut. I'm totally on a kick with these guys. Is coconut. Um, that's a good one. And then I really wanted to try, because you guys have seen that I've been using the cacao powder from Vitacost. And so um, I wanted to try, they have a chocolate flavor. So I'll let you guys know how that one is. The English toffee one is really good, but not something that you would put in water. Chocolate is good in anything. I would drink chocolate water, but I didn't plan on putting this like in my cacao oats or, or what have you. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that works out, but they also have a chocolate raspberry flavor that I wanna try, so stoked for that. And uh, speaking of sea vegetables, this is like a snack for me, like this dull stuff, it tastes, like, you know, I don't know. I call this like vegan jerky it is sort of what it's like. It's sort of sweet, sort of salty. It satisfies that snack, that salty urge. It does not taste fishy or, or like like seawater or, or like a mouthful of ocean water. It is so good. Um, and then totally loved these guys in um, soups and things, the shirataki uh, fettuccine pastas. These, in my opinion, are far better than um, the actual, the Vitacost brands are my favorite, um, far and away. They're better than um, the, uh, the, sh the actual shirataki noodle brand ones, I think. I don't know. Um, I've gotten some from H Mart and they're also very good, the yam noodles, but. Um, and I'm really enjoying this root scared, root scared, root scared, <laughs> root squared. I'm really enjoying the root squared uh, pea protein isolate as my um, protein supplement, protein powder. This is like 10 bucks and it's got 25 servings in it. Each serving has 15 grams of pea protein. Of, of pea protein. So I really love that. Um, and this uh, doesn't have any sweetener in it. So it's just the plain protein and you are free to do what you want with it, which is kind of what I like with the protein powders. 
stickers if they're just plain because then you know I can do my own thing with them I don't need them to taste like anything actually it's fun when they do but you know they're more versatile when they don't I find and likewise um, I got the corresponding brown rice protein by root square this is like the bougie Vitacost brand I don't know it counts towards the um, towards the $25. So I went ahead and got this because I like brown rice protein powder also. And I've tried the just regular Vitacost brand brown rice protein powder and it was really good. So I can't imagine that the root squared one of, of it would not be good, but really enjoying those. But yeah, that's what's going on. Got home from work. Um, you can see Totoro beaming there in the background. Ain't he cute? Um, and sipping on my water here. I just rip, whipped up, I, um, I'm on a batch of lentils right now that I'm dining on, um, and I just whipped up a crock pot meal, um, which is identical to what I cooked for myself for dinner last night. And uh, so while that's going, I am gonna head into the gym. But I filmed how I made it, um, and you saw me chopping up some of the vegetables there. So I will insert that footage now and check in with you guys when I get out of the gym. the shower and I'm coming in I forgot um, I wanted to bring a, a shout out to the Neutrogena Hydra Boost hydrating lip treatment I showed this in my lip care favorites product normally I come in with my CeraVe healing ointment but this is another one I've really been enjoying a lot um, I just wish the packaging were different um, it seems like just kind of a dinky little blob they give you here um, so yeah um, makeup removal update tonight i tried dr jart um his uh micellar water the dermaclear micro water and this is yet another micellar water fail for me i mean this did nothing this was no different in my mind to the garnier skin um, active micellar cleansing water in fact i actually think this one is better um but they're both you know abrasive and don't really actually remove my mascara I see these YouTube beauty bloggers saying they take all of their makeup off with these micellar waters and I'm going how in the stink are they getting these things off I mean I um I came I used uh, my handy dandy sweet little clean puffs 
Um, and I, I had no luck getting just simple mascara off with uh, yet another micellar water. I subsequently had to come in with the um, Vanilla Purity for Sensitive Skin Cleansing Balm that you guys recommended. I am really enjoying that. Um, I use that um, some nights and other nights I use the Hadalabo uh, Cleansing Oil and some nights I use the um, the Hamish one and the Vanillico one are pretty similar, um, as I mentioned, I think, the other day. Um, I noticed the Hamish one is slightly, has a slight, like, a little bit more texture to it. It doesn't melt in as nicely as the vanilla one. But they both have fragrance in them. That's the only caveat. But the thing I like about the oil-based cleansing is that you then come in with a gentle cleanser and get that stuff off your face. And it, it's logical. It's dissolving the dirt and oil of makeup that without requiring any a, aggressive abrasion. Whereas these micellar waters, they, they require the, um, you know, e even the clean puff. I mean, just sitting on there, it's like, who has time to sit there with a patch? The cleansing balms and the oils are far gentler. I mean, they just whisk it off. And I barely wear any makeup, so I don't know how people with this full face of foundation and all of this stuff get get away with using these micellar waters to take their makeup off. I know what many of you will ask me. Well, have you tried Bioderma yet? I have not, but I do have a little um, doozy here, so I will give him a whirl um, eventually. Yeah, th this one this one was the least uh, irritating. And this one doesn't have any alcohol or fragrance in it. I believe that Dr. Jarts might. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I did detect a fragrance, and this kind of stings. So I don't know. I have not had success with the micellar water so far. But yeah, that's a little makeup removal first impression with the Dr. Jart. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!